Hello dear students, how are you? I hope you people are doing very well at home. Just remember one thing, stay home and stay safe. Myself, Shraddha Patel, I am going to take one more chapter of your science to be more specific, biology portion and that is your chapter number 8, how do organisms reproduce, okay? Now before starting this chapter in detail, let me introduce with topics that we are going to cover in this chapter. Okay. So first, we are going to discuss some portion about DNA. DNA, you people have heard, I guess. DNA is your genetic material, right? And DNA is hereditary material also. It passes information, hereditary information from one generation to another generation. So starting may, we are going to discuss little bit about your DNA. Then we will move on to your asexual reproduction. This aspect we are going to discuss in both plants as well as animals. So once again, asexual reproduction in plants, to be more specific, is called as vegetative propagation. Okay, so first we are going to understand asexual reproduction in animals. Then we are going to understand vegetative propagation. Simple as that, asexual reproduction in plants, right? Then we are going to discuss your sexual reproduction. Again, both in plants as well as animals. Now, if we are talking about sexual reproduction in plants, right? Then we are talking about flowering plant, of course, right? Who flowers and you people are familiar with male and female reproductive parts in flower that is our stamen and carpel. What is stamen? Stamen is male reproductive structure and what is carpel? Just call pistil bhi bol sakte ho is your female reproductive part. So this portion we are going to discuss in sexual reproduction of plant to be more specific flowering plant. Okay? Then we are going to discuss sexual reproduction in animals to be more specific here. We are going to discuss human reproduction. We are going to discuss female reproductive system in detail as well as male reproductive system in detail. Okay. What happens after fertilization of egg? If there is no fertilization, then what occurs? This all we are going to discuss in human reproduction. And lastly, we will wind up with this chapter by doing your reproductive health. Okay. So the last topic of your chapter is reproductive health. By this, we are going to finish your chapter. So let us start your chapter number eight. Once again, how do organisms reproduce? Now, aap hi mujhe batao, is there any need of reproduction according to you? Is there any need of reproduction? Is it an essential life process or not? Is it necessary to do or not? The first answer that comes in your mind is no. Reproduction is not essential life process. Okay? What is the reason for the same? Say for example, if I am talking about nutrition, if I am talking about nutrition, is it necessary? Is it an essential life process? Of course, yes. To obtain energy. To obtain energy. Am I clear? You people have understood digestive system, I guess, in life processes. Right? It is digested in your digestive system. And finally, what happens to undigested food? It is excreted out of your body. Again, dekho mene yaha pe kya likha hai? Excretion. Excretion is also essential life process. Thik hai? Vaise hi ek aur example mene yaha pe plot kara hai. That is your respiration. Is there any need of exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide? Respiration ki zarurat hai kya? Yes, otherwise we are going to die. So, if I am talking about nutrition, if I am talking about excretion, respiration, this all are essential life processes. This all are compulsorily required to maintain life 
of an organism. But we can say that reproduction is not an essential process, right? Okay, dekho fir aage kya likha hai maine? On another hand, right? If organism reproduces much, energy is lost in this process. Agar koi organism reproduction karta hai, right? So during this process, much amount of energy is lost. Thik hai? To humko kyo energy waste karni hai? Why this reproduction is necessary? The simple answer to this question is to maintain continuity of species generation of after generation. Okay, okay. I hope you have understood. Say for example, if we look organisms surrounding us, क्या देखते हो आप? Say for example, dog. I am talking about cat, monkeys. Cow, buffaloes, these all organisms which we see around us are due to reproduction. This all are result of reproduction. Am I clear? Manu ki organism reproduction hi na kare. So what will happen? What will happen? We very well know that no living organism will live forever. Yes or no? Of course they are going to die. They are going to die. Chalo say for example, human population ne decide kara ki reproduction na kare. To what will happen? After some time, after certain years, human population become extinct. Okay, human population become extinct. Yuki reproduction nahi hua. Reproduction nahi hua to new organism nahi aaye. Right? To jo bhi organism the, wo kaha chale gaye? Wo mar gaye. And finally, Human population will become extinct. Am I clear? So this is what I have written on board. Let me read it once. Okay. On another hand, if individual organism is going to create more individual, a lot of its energy will be spent in the process. Am I clear? So why we should waste this energy? The obvious answer is, it is obvious that we notice organism because they reproduce. Most important point, we notice organism because they reproduce. Reproduction ki vajah se hi we see different varieties of species around us. Okay, I hope the point is very clear to you. If there is no reproduction, agar reproduction na ho, to what will happen? At one particular time, the species becomes extinct. It becomes extinct. Am I clear? Now, here comes a word called a species. Now, what is species? Kya hai? Okay, so for example, I say human species. I say dog species. I say cat species. I say cow species. So, what is species? Hai kya? This species is nothing but group of organisms. Who looks similar to each other. ठीक है मैंने आपको बोला human species मेरी भी दुआ क्या आपकी भी दुआ क्या I have two ears you people have also also have two ears am I clear? So the organisms group of organisms who shares common features who looks similar to each other इसको बोला जाता है species and one more point they are capable of breeding with each other. So what I have written? Species, group of organism who looks similar and breed with each other. Or I can say they are capable of, they are capable of, I can say interbreeding. Capable of interbreeding. Say for example, human can breed with humans only. Cat can breed with cat only. Okay. So once again, let me repeat it. What is species? Group of organism who looks similar and breed with each other. Or I can say they are capable of interbreeding. Okay. So you people understood the point. What is need of reproduction? Simple as that if I want to write to maintain continuity. To maintain continuity of particular species generation after 
generation theek hai so this is the answer of your question what is need of reproduction now what do you mean by reproduction iski definition kya hai once again definition i have written and you people are aware of reproduction is process where reproducing organisms okay reproducing organisms creates new individuals that looks very much like themselves most important point human kid looks like human only not like monkey am i clear so reproduction is a process where reproducing organism give birth to young ones or creates new individuals which look like themselves only so this is your introductory portion of your chapter number 8 i hope you people are enjoying thank you